In this crochet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beanie. This beanie can be worn as a regular beanie or a slouchy beanie. I actually made two slightly different versions. I made this one first, but then I liked it so much, I made another one. I rarely make the same thing twice, I get bored, so I made a few changes for the second one. This one has a little bump at the top, which is really cute. It makes the hat look more like a bee's butt, I guess. In this video, I will only be showing you how to make the second one in detail and at the end of the video, I will walk you through this one. I won't show you or teach you, otherwise the video is going to be too long, but I'll tell you what I did. I'm going to be using some scrap yarn. I don't have the labels anymore, but both are weight 3 yarn and I'm going to use a 5mm crochet hook. You will also need a yarn needle, scissors, and a tape measure. We're going to start from here, make the main part of the hat, then do the broom. So I'm going to use the yellow color to make a slip knot. Then you're going to make a chain that fits around your head loosely. And also make sure your chain number is a multiple of 8. My head circumference is 22.5 inches. I'm going to chain up 80 which is about 26 inches when slightly stretched. So as I'm measuring the chain, I'm keeping it slightly stretched, just as how I want it to be when I'm wearing it. So after I've done that, I'm going to join in the round, making sure the chain is not twisted. Insert hook in the first stitch. Double checking again, no problem, then I'm going to pull yarn through and make a slip stitch. Chain 1 to secure because I'm going to work in the same stitch again. In this stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets vertically as the first double crochet. So insert back in the same stitch, make a single crochet. Now we have two vertical loops. In the left one, insert hook and make a second single crochet. This stitch is the first stitch of the round. Then from the next stitch, we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, insert hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two again. Keep working one double crochet in each chain, and I'll meet you back here when you finish this round. I've worked a double crochet in the last chain, if you're not sure which is the last chain, you can count your stitches. I had 80 chains, so I should have 80 double crochets here. Then I'm going to make a slip stitch in the first stitch, insert hook in the top two loops, and slip stitch. Chain 1. This is to secure the slip stitch, as we're going to work the first double crochet of the next round in this stitch again. So just like I showed you before, place a single crochet in this stitch first. Then a second single crochet in the left loop. First double crochet done. From the next stitch, work one double crochet in each chain, just like the last round. So go ahead and finish this round. Finish the last stitch, join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. The third round is a back post double crochet round. So chain one at the beginning of the round. This chubby little thing is the first stitch. I'm going to work a back post double crochet in it. So yarn over. 
and then insert hook from this right side of the stitch from the back then to the left pull through a loop then a double crochet that's a back post double crochet in the next stitch again yarn over insert from the back around the stitch pull a loop through then a double crochet so this is basically what we're gonna do for the whole round place one back post double crochet in each stitch of the round And that's the last stitch of round three. Join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. The next round is a plain double crochet round. Chain one to secure. Work the first double crochet as I showed you before. A plain double crochet round just means work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end of the round. So exactly like the first two rounds. So go ahead and finish this round. So far we've got 4 rounds. In this pattern we're going to change color every 4 rounds. So it's time to do that now. To change color, simply use the new color to complete the slip stitch. I'm still going to insert hook in the first stitch. Then pull the black yarn through and slip stitch. Chain 1 to secure, then from here we're going to repeat these 4 rounds again. The first round is a double crochet round, the second also a double crochet round, the third round is a back post double crochet round, and the fourth a double crochet round again. We're going to begin from the first round, which is a plain double crochet round. So work one double crochet in each stitch and finish this round. I'm going to cut the yellow yarn so it's easier for me to work the stitches. Make a slip stitch in the first stitch and chain one. As I've explained before, this round is still a double crochet round, but from this round, we're also going to do some decrease. The decrease follows a pattern and if you've chained other than 80 at the beginning, your pattern will be slightly different from mine, but don't worry, it's very easy to adjust. So remember at the beginning I told you to chain a multiple of 8? Now you're going to divide that number by 8. I have 80 chains. Dividing it by 8 gives me 10. So that means my pattern is going to repeat every 10 stitches. If you've chained 88 at the beginning, you're going to repeat the pattern every 11 stitches. So the pattern's like this. In the last 2 stitches of the 10 stitches, I'm going to work a decrease. And in the rest of the stitches, work 1 double crochet in each of them. So starting from the first stitch, I'm going to work 1 double crochet in each of the first 8 stitches. To clarify, the decrease always happens in the last 2 stitches regardless of how many stitches you have. So if you have to repeat the pattern every 11 stitches, you should work 1 double crochet in the first 9 stitches leaving the last two stitches for a decrease stitch. So I did my 8 stitches. Now I'm going to make a decrease. A decrease in this pattern refers to a double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through two. This is an incomplete double crochet. In the next stitch, work an incomplete double crochet again. Yarn over and insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three to complete these two stitches together. 
So this is what I'm going to repeat for the whole round. One double crochet in each of the next eight stitches, then a double crochet two together in the next two stitches, then keep repeating. At the end of the round, join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. The decrease round is going to happen every other round, so the next round is going to be a plain back post double crochet round. So starting from the first stitch, just like the back post double crochet round we did before, work one back post double crochet in each stitch of this round. And when you get to this double crochet two together, because it's one stitch, so just work one back post double crochet in it. Go ahead and complete this round. Join to the first stitch and chain one. The fourth round is a double crochet round with decrease following the pattern. The last time we made decrease is in the second round here. I did 8 double crochets, then a double crochet 2 together. So for this round, I'm going to do 7 double crochets, then a double crochet 2 together. If before you did 9 double crochets, before the double crochet 2 together, for this round, you're going to do 8 double crochets, then a double crochet 2 together. So following my pattern, I did 7 double crochets. Now I'm going to work a double crochet 2 together decrease. Work 1 incomplete double crochet in each of the next 2 stitches. Then yarn over and pull through 3. And then I'm just gonna keep repeating this pattern to the end. When you make the slip stitch here, change back to the other color again because we change color every four rounds as I mentioned before. And at the same time, don't forget to decrease every other round. And that's the second and the fourth rounds of a color. So I went ahead and did six more rounds following the pattern. The first round of yellow is a plain double crochet round. The second round is also a double crochet round, but with decrease. My last decrease round is one double crochet in seven stitches and a double crochet two together. So the pattern for the next decrease round is one double crochet in six stitches, then a double crochet two together. The third round is a plain back post double crochet round. And the fourth is a decrease round again, one double crochet in five stitches, then a double crochet two together. Then change back to black yarn, double crochet, no decrease, one double crochet in four stitches, then a double crochet, two together. So after six rounds, I end up with 40 stitches. You're also gonna do six rounds like me, even if you have a different stitch number. For the last three rounds, we're going to keep working double crochet two togethers. The beginning double crochet two together is a little different, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I've already chained one. In the first stitch, work a single crochet. Then insert hook in the left loop and pull up a loop. Then yarn over. Insert in the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. I'm going to mark the first stitch. From the next stitch, we're going to keep working double crochet two togethers. We've done this multiple times in a decrease round. So I'm going to skip ahead and see you at the end of this round. Make a slip stitch in the marked first stitch.
chain one my camera got laggy here i apologize for that i didn't notice it till after but this round is exactly the same as the last round except with a different stitch count but still we're going to just keep making double crochet two togethers to the end of the round Join to the first stitch, chain one, and repeat that round one last time. Work a double crochet two together in every two stitches. When I finish this round, I have five stitches. You might have four or six, but that's okay. Join to the first stitch, chain one, and pull yarn through. Cut the yarn. Now we're left with this tiny opening. I'm going to use my yarn needle, go through these five stitches in and out like this. Just in the top loops of a stitch. Then pull tight and fasten off from the wrong side. The last part is the brim. I'm going to attach the other color here, make a chain, and then single crochet back and forth like this. So a slip knot. We're doing this from the right side, by the way. Insert hook in the first stitch. Attach the yarn. I'm going to chain up 20. This is the length of the brim, including the part that folds over. I'm going to chain one more. And starting from the second stitch from the hook, I'm going to insert hook and make a single crochet in each of the 20 chains. After I finish the last single crochet, make a slip stitch in the next stitch. This is to attach the single crochet row back to this edge. Then a slip stitch again in the next stitch. This is like the chain one at the beginning of the next row. Then turn your work. We're going to work single crochets along this chain. Each single crochet is worked in the back loop of a stitch. So instead of inserting like this, we only insert in the back loop. Then a single crochet. Continue doing this. When you finish the last stitch, chain one, then turn. 
starting from the first stitch again, a single crochet in the back loop of every stitch. And whenever you get to this edge, slip stitch in the next stitch, then in the next stitch again, then directly turn. One single crochet in each stitch, back loop only, and when you get to the other end, chain one and turn. One back loop single crochet in each stitch, all the way to the other end again. So continue making single crochet rows like this back and forth and work along this edge. So I finished the brim. Your last row should be going in this direction towards this edge. Then make one last slip stitch. Chain one and pull yarn through. Leave enough to sew the edges together. Cut the yarn. It's really hard for you to see the black yarn, so I made a little swatch in yellow. So in the first stitch, insert needle in the front loop upward. The corresponding stitch on the other side has two top loops too. Insert needle downward in the front loop as well. Do that again in the next stitches, upward front loop. This should come from here. Then downward front loop of the corresponding stitch. Continue doing this, making sure the stitches line up. Don't miss any. And this is what it looks like when finished. At the end, fasten off all the threads. For this one right here, simply pull both threads really tight from the wrong side tie a few knots and then cut the yarn then this beanie is done now i'm going to quickly walk you through this one as i mentioned at the beginning this is going to be brief so i started from the bottom chained my head circumference with the chain number being a multiple of eight the first round is a plain double crochet round then eight rounds of front post double crochet and back post double crochet um, alternately for this part the first three rounds are exactly the same as the other hat except the fourth round that is a back post double crochet round do it three times without decrease then from here, I started making decrease every other round, starting from this round. So decrease in the first and the third rounds. Uh, the decrease pattern for this one is worked out in the same way as the other one. So 10 rounds in total following the pattern and then close off the top. And that is it for this version. Anyway, I hope this is useful to you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll see you soon.